how long have you been in the industry? And were you in the industry kind of running things behind the scenes for a while before you stepped out and started directing? Mm -hmm. Um, So I've been in the industry at large for just about a decade. Okay. Um, I started working for my parent company, Gamma Entertainment, in 2009. Mm -hmm. And for the first six or so years, I worked very much on the business side of the Mm -hmm. internet, or of the internet side of our business. So Gamma is a company that um, partners with studios and porn stars to essentially run the website of their business. Right. Um, So I worked as their, uh, in various different marketing capacities, and then was their marketing director, and then there was their creative director. And so I spent a lot of time um, working with established producers um, on how to market their content. Mm -hmm. And what I found the most interesting about that whole process was uh, actually going in and sort of studying how, how people watched what, what made them tick. What was, what were the actual quote unquote moments that really Mm -hmm. drove their interest? Cause it's not often what you think it is. Mm -hmm. And that just personally fascinated me just being someone who comes from a marketing uh, communication background and so I kind of was obsessed with that and uh, just sort of kept that, to, you know, and used that as part of my, my role as, as the marketing director. But when we decided about five years ago to go into our own productions, it was something that um, our company had never really done. And certainly uh, our president wasn't, you know, he was interested in it from a business perspective, but not personally in terms of from the creative perspective. And I kind of raised my hand mm-hmm. and said that that was an opportunity that I wanted to explore. Um, so I took, you know, everything that I'd learned on the marketing side and I essentially threw myself into the world of production, met up and kind of formed close bonds with a couple of up and coming, uh, directors. And together we ended up, um, turning around our first project, which was a network of massage sites Gamma had bought and kind of didn't know what to do with. Not, Mm -hmm. not that they didn't know what to do with it, but they didn't have a clear plan for production. So I took Mm -hmm. that over. And we ended up taking one of those series, which was a all-girl line mm-hmm. that had been kind of in decline and was very much an afterthought of a series on, on that network. And we, um, I, I partnered up with uh, Stills by Allen, who at the time was a photographer in the business looking mm-hmm. to break into directing, gave him his first directing gig, and together he and I kind of took over that series and turned it around completely. And we turned it around really by looking at that audience and starting to talk to them directly and understand what it was about girl, girl content they were looking for that they weren't getting Mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, respond directly to what they were looking for. And so we were able to kind of turn it around from being the series in decline to being the series in growth for that network. And it gave me the confidence to pitch what at the time was like a pretty, I I guess you could say unconventional idea, which was the idea of creating um, a mega site just for content. Mm-hmm. And so I pitched the idea of Girls Way to Gamma's owners back in 2000 and I guess 13. And then uh, Alan and I developed it and launched it in late 2014. And it's since gone on to become the largest all-girl kind of brand in it and uh, kind of helped me get my uh, feet wet in terms of writing and producing and then ultimately directing and kind of led me a bit to where I am now, I guess you could say. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely, cause I knew that Gamma was around for a long time because I knew a lot of people who had their site run by mm-hmm. them. And then, and then all of a sudden, like you kind of appeared on the scene and Girls Way appeared on the scene and then it just took the f- off. Yeah. And it was like amazing because and content is that kind of content that I think that a lot of people have trouble getting right. And I think that I feel like a lot of people feel like it's it's not something worth investing in. Mm-hmm. Did you find that you you kind of had that struggle? They were like, well, what you know, we should be doing boy girl. That's what sells. Mm-hmm. Girl girl doesn't sell. Well, I remember very clearly the day that I pitched Girls Way to uh, to Gamma's owners, and you know, I had I had done a whole vision, and I'd even created a little mock up logo, which is ki- pretty close to how the logo is mm-hmm. now. I remember when I pitched it, the first question I got asked was whether I wanted to do that because I'm a lesbian, mm-hmm. which uh, wasn't the reason I wanted to do it. And in fact, you know, um, the reason I did want to, to push it was because I saw that the audience was there. Mm-hmm. And not only were they there, but they're incredibly open and they like want to be involved. They have that built in loyalty. They have that built in creativity. They care about their content probably because it's been so marginalized Mm -hmm. over the years. And, you know, uh, I saw really a demand 
to create more of it, and I saw an audience that was willing to work with me to create it, which is built-in loyalty right there. Um, and so that was what kind of gave me the confidence to push to do it. But yeah, it was a struggle in the beginning. Um, and after we launched it, we, we I, I would say the first six months were really carried by the fact that we got one thing right. Mm-hmm. When we started, we launched it as like a classic mega site, four separate lines, each of them very different, you know, mm-hmm. something for everybody. And, you know, we had a couple of mommy girl clips, which was one of the series we developed because at the time family role play stuff was starting to become, you know, more and more popular. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness we did that right because that carried our first six months, the audience we we got in from – from that series. But during that time, it allowed Alan and I to kind of break the mold of the traditional mega site concept and start to create Girls Way content, which was, you know, really just us taking the stories that we were interested in telling along with the stories that we um, took from our members and developing them. And that, when we launched our first girl girl feature, which again, I don't think anybody had ever really done before. Yeah, Very you few never people. see that. It's so <laughs> uncommon. But I just wanted to do it because I wanted to make movies, you know, right. and Alan is very much the same way. And so when we launched, uh, or when we released Business of Women, which was our first film that we did, which was like a total like wild, wild west. We didn't know what we were doing, like scrappy, <laughs> put it together type of feature. Yeah. Um, you know, it really caused us to take off. And that was really, it was actually our our looking at girl girl content from a point of pure originality and breaking conventions that really struck a chord with fans and mm-hmm. allowed us to have the the big bulk of the growth that we've had um and luckily it just happened right at the same time that in content kind of came out as the number one most searched type of so, yeah i remember <laughs> seeing that 